Previously, we talked about how market design is being used in designing a token-based ecosystem, which is Nexus Mutual. Today, we're going to look at how to apply mechanism design into a protocol. Remember, mechanism design defines the rules that all the economic agents, including the tokens, have to behave by. In mechanism design, we're looking at three different categories. Governance, which is how decisions are being made and how resolution is being executed. We have non-financial incentives, this could be a voting mechanism, this could be a lot of other incentives in the system. And we have the structure. When we talk about market structures, how is the market being structured within your ecosystem? So we're going to take the example of MakerDAO. MakerDAO is a stablecoin ecosystem and we have the video out there. You can also go and watch to learn more about it. But a quick recap, when we look at applying mechanism design in governance, we're looking at allowing the MKR voters to vote on stability fees and how to use them. So for example, you can vote to increase the size of treasury, which is part of governance. The other thing that is more automated is the emergency oracle shutdown. So when prices fall by too much, then this is something that will happen as part of governance that's embedded in code that will shut the system down for a while. When it comes to non-financial incentives, we're looking at voting calculation, where instead of a one-for-one -one vote, it is voted based on percentage, so it's a little bit fairer. And as well as you can vote on stability fees, because that's not fixed, and you can vote to change these different things. And lastly, when it comes to structure, we're looking at the auction liquidation structure, as well as taking oracles from both DeFi and CeFi world. So these are some examples of mechanism design being applied to a token-based protocol, which is MakerDAO, MKR, and DAI. Okay.